Well, hello. I'm Pastor John Cress here at First Baptist of Horton, Kansas. Each week we gather together to look at God's Holy Word. And for the past few weeks and for the next two, we've been looking at the book of Lamentations. It is not one of the most cheerful books, mind you. I mean, after all, the name Lamentations, meaning to cry, to weep. And as we discovered a few weeks ago, uh, that actually the Hebrew word means how. What? How could this be? A type of attitude. And that's basically what the author, who we assume is Jeremiah the prophet, is saying. He's looking at the devastation of the city of Jerusalem. How could this come to pass? Well, he mentally knew, because he had been preaching about it for quite some time, that it would come about. To see it before his very eyes shook him to his very core. And right now we are in chapter 4 of this poetic book of laments um, and we're looking at two verses today verse 6 and then to verse 22 verse 6 says the punishment of my people is greater than that of Sodom which was overthrown in a moment without a hand turned to help her and then verse 22 your punishment will end daughter Zion he will not punish your exile he will not, sorry, he will not prolong your exile. But he will punish your sin, daughter Edom, and expose your wickedness. The, the prophet, the writer, however you want to refer to him, is just comparing what he sees with Jerusalem and saying, look, even Sodom and Gomorrah had it easier. Their punishment was quick and over. But this prolonged period of time of seeing what once was the most magnificent city on the face of the earth in ruins. And the people just struggling to get by. It's heart wrenching and it's going on day after day after day. And the pain of just seeing this before his very eyes hurts. So for him, Sodom and Gomorrah had it easy. Fire and brimstone came down in one fatal swoop. Within moments, people who were living were now dead. They didn't have to deal with pain. How do we feel about that at times? We sometimes just want the pain, the emptiness to be over when we are dealing with either a loss or just great difficulties rushing against us. We will want the, the pain to quit. It would be better if it was just quick in a flash. Get, get whatever the world wants to do against us done and over with. We can deal with the consequences, just don't let us deal with the pain. But the Lord offers hope. He always does. And we see that in verse 22. Your punishment is not going to be prolonged much more. You will be restored. You will have a brighter day again. The pain will come to an end. Why? Because God is your God. It's not because, well, you've been a good boy or girl. It's not because, hmm, just a flip of a coin and you just happen to be a good, a good day today. No. Is because God is God and he loves his people. And he may have to bring some times of punishment upon us to either um, correct us or maybe to challenge us to be better than what we already are. But realize he does not intend to keep us in that pain. He wants to help us up out of the pain, to grow in that pain, but to also to always have hope, love, and faith but the greatest of those being love. Let's keep loving. Let's keep having hope. Let's keep having faith. Why? Because Jesus Christ is God. Nothing else will eradicate our hurt, but Jesus can lift us above it. Let's pray. Lord, I just want to thank you for this time in Lamentations 4. It is good to see hope. After a few chapters of this book, it, it can, we can easily be discouraged and just 
And I want to maybe even pick up your good word again. But it is a good word because it's all about Jesus and who he is and what he means to us. He is our Lord, our Savior, our God. And he can bring us through those difficult times because he's promising us that there is hope. There is a bright future ahead of us. We just have to keep pursuing and waiting upon him, waiting upon you. Help us to do that, dear Lord, to not give up in our faith, not to give up in our hope, and never to give up in our love. In all this we pray. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us, and I look forward to seeing you again as we finish up the book of Lamentations. And until then, bless others, and therefore be blessed.